With Crash Team Racing Nitro Field less than 3 months away, the hype is starting to get real. Beanox have been throwing us snippets from the game and now we have seen a total of 7 tracks, which is really getting us excited. Welcome to Spark Select and in this video I will be going through my 5 wishes of what I want to see when Nitro Field finally hits shells in June. Let's get to work. Number 1. Physics When Vicarious Visions released the Insane Trilogy in 2017, one of the biggest complaints that people had was the physics. So a lot of players tended to feel that Crash was much more difficult to control than in the original. The reason for this is that they based Crash's physics on Crash Bandicoot Warped, which is the third title in the trilogy, and therefore it felt really weird for Crash Bandicoot 1 and 2. We shouldn't have that problem with Nitro Field, however, as they aren't trying to recreate multiple games this time. Nonetheless, I do feel that it is important that Beanox learn from this and get the physics spot on. The original PS1 release had a massive emphasis on drifting, so to see that change in the upcoming remake would be a massive shame. Based on the footage that has been shown off from both public and private events, it seems like they are on the right track, but it could definitely still use some tweaking. It may seem a little bit nitpicky, but the vast majority of people do feel that although this is a 20 year old game, it has arguably the best physics of any kart racer that has been released since. Let's just hope that Beanox can replicate it successfully. Number 2. More characters. In the original Crash Team Racing, there were 15 different playable characters, and although that does provide a good amount of choice, there are still some key characters missing from the lineup. So it would be nice to see certain characters such as Koala Kong, Embryo and Torna get added to the game as they weren't there in the original. And considering the success of Spyro Reignited Trilogy last year, I would love to see Spyro become a playable character as well. As long as Beanox can successfully balance their stats, I think this could help to elevate Nitro Field to the next level. What would be interesting would be if we end up seeing some Nitro Kart characters join the lineup as well, especially considering that the tracks have been confirmed to be in the game. I'm not sure if it makes sense to include those characters though, unless the entire adventure mode is included, which to me seems very unlikely. I personally would rather most of the content within this game is based off of the Insane trilogy, as any characters from any of the other games wouldn't make sense to anybody that joined the series after playing the 2017 remake, and therefore it would only be implemented as fan service for any of the other titles within the series. Number 3. Balanced Multiplayer With an online multiplayer mode being added into Nitro Field, it's important that Beanox balances the mode so that it's accommodating to both newer and experienced players, maybe by giving certain options such as being able to play matches without shortcuts being allowed. That way, newer players won't have to worry about always finishing in last place just because everybody else on the track is taking full advantage of the shortcuts that are available. Another thing that Beanox should take into consideration is how to balance the playable characters in order to make every option viable. It wouldn't be as fun if the same two or three characters always win every single race because they are overpowered. They could therefore take away the different stats for each player when racing in multiplayer, or even make it an option to customise your cart to suit your playstyle, so that way you can allocate any points earned in speed, acceleration or turning. Without the characters being balanced in multiplayer, most players will feel that they have to be a specific character every single time, which does little to encourage variety. Imagine 8 players playing as Penta, racing each other over and over and over again. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like that could get boring very quickly. Number 4. New Tracks as fun as playing remakes of all the tracks from the original PS1 version of a game will be, I feel more tracks would be welcome as long as they don't sacrifice quality for quantity. So these could be based on levels from the Insane Trilogy. They could do a track based on the Temple Ruins in Crash 1, or maybe even a medieval themed track based on the medieval levels within Crash 3. Even adding extra bosses would be a welcome addition, 
such as facing entropy through the Time Twister, or maybe even Koala Kong through a volcano. Implementing more tracks and adding shortcuts to each track would also ensure that experienced players of the original game still have new things to discover and more surprises in store for them than they otherwise would have with only the remade tracks of the original game to play. It would also give Beanox a chance to show us players that they are able to make exciting and fun tracks of their own and provide them with valuable experience if they are allowed by Activision to continue the series the same way Future Frenzy did for Vicarious Visions with the Insane Trilogy. Beanox have confirmed they are also remaking the tracks from Crash Nitro Kart, which is a nice touch and provides a nice amount of extra content, but some brand new tracks would be amazing, providing they have the core fundamentals of the game nailed first. Number 5. Multiplayer Progression since the multiplayer mode of Nitro Field will be a key feature in ensuring longevity for the game, it's important that players feel that there's a reason to keep returning time and time again. That's where multiplayer progression comes in. As someone who is much more of a single player gamer than a multiplayer one, I hate it when a multiplayer mode feels like it's been shoehorned in to what is primarily a single player experience, and I hope that doesn't happen here. Simple ways to achieve this would be to implement leaderboard rankings, maybe ongoing tournaments, and maybe even a leveling system with rewards for reaching certain levels. That way, races will feel meaningful and like you are constantly progressing. What would also be a nice addition is if leveling up in multiplayer earned cosmetics for your cart, so you can customise it how you like and maybe even have cosmetic rewards for completing various achievements within the multiplayer mode such as winning a certain number of races, or using certain power-ups against your opponents a specific number of times. This seems like a much nicer way to earn these rewards rather than microtransactions, which I am unfortunately expecting to make an appearance in some form. I really hope I'm wrong about that. Nitro Fueled shouldn't be a direct one-to-one -one remake of Crash Team Racing in the same way that the Insane Trilogy was a remake of the first three Crash games. This is a PS1 game that still holds a special place in many people's hearts, but kart racers have now progressed in ways that can make Nitro Fueled the best kart racer on the market if they play their cards right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you agree or disagree with any of the points I've made? Is there anything I haven't mentioned that you think should be included in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field? Let us know in the comments below and please like this video and subscribe for more content from us.